Good morning, Day Sarah. I'm Maddie. And I'm Texas, and this is The Lion Report. Today marks the last day before Thanksgiving break. Aren't you excited? I'm so excited. I'm flying out on Monday to Chicago to visit my sister and my family. How about you, Tex? Are you doing anything special? Well, of course, I'm actually um, going to stay here, but I can't wait to hang out with my friends, especially Talia. So speaking of her, let's go live with her in the studio for the morning announcements. Thanks, ladies. Attention to the international students. If you would like to have your personal pictures at the annual Christmas party, please send them to Sherry Goo at sherrygoo at jsarah.org. Um, Tuesday, November 29th will be the Pro-Life Club um, movie night at Mr. T's room at 7 o'clock, and you'll be watching Juno. Track practice has already begun, so um, conditioning will be held every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, so please come to the track if you would like to join. The J. Sarah Dance Concert is um, actually this Friday, which is today, and it will be held at the Laguna Hills Community Center. Tickets are $10 online, so make sure you go because it's going to be really fun. Um, Beauty and the Beast auditions are coming up, so if you would like to do that, it's December 5th from 3 to 6 in the choir room, so please pick up forms in the black box for that. And um, you should definitely register for Kairos 35. Now the deadline is Tuesday, December 13th, so sign up at jsarah.org slash kairos if you want to be on K35. Um, and the Weeks for Spirit shirt is ex extended one more week, so seniors and juniors, if you want a log a long sleeve spirit shirt, please bring $12 from Shishanalt. You need 32 to complete the order. And lastly, for announcements, the winners for the, J er, for the Sarah's Pantry donations will be announced when we get back from break. <laughs> Thank you. Back to the studio. Thanks, Talia, um, for those announcements. We love you so much, and you look great today. <laughs> hey, guess what? What? Tomorrow is actually our very own Hayden Carter's 12th birthday. Happy birthday, baby Hayden. Uh, we love you so much. So speaking of love, Heslin, do you love the Harry Potter series? Well, it's definitely my top 10, but I hear that we have a pretty big fan of the series himself, and his name is Aiden. Oh, what a surprise. Well, that's right. So let's go to Aiden with another one of his famous movie reviews. Ooh. Hello, children. Welcome to another exciting movie review. And today we are going to be talking about Harry Potter, but I look like an absolute idiot. Let me fix that real quick. <sighs> ah, that's better. Now I look like a fancy idiot. So yes, you heard that correctly. Today we are talking about Harry Potter, which is one of the most successful things ever made ever. Yes, for the first time ever, teenagers were actually liking something that wasn't completely stupid. It's in my code. It's in my code. Have y'all ever seen wreck and Ralph? But yeah, Harry Potter is actually really awesome and has become one of my favorite franchises. I grew up with it. It was a huge deal when I was a kid. So I'm not going to go through every single Harry Potter movie because that would just take way too much time that I don't have time for whatsoever. So I'm just going to give you a basic rundown of what I like throughout the franchise and it, yeah, it's going to be pretty dope. I could really make an entire video just talking about the characters in Harry Potter because there are so many good ones. Let's start off the main character, Harry, who of course is great, but I will say Daniel Radcliffe as Harry can get a little bland, just a little bit bland. That being said though, his personality does really shine in a lot of areas. I'm sure I will. Hmm? I request that you keep his abnormally large nose out of other people's business. Ah! <laughs> got <he! laughs> And then you got so many other great characters like Professor McConaughey, Hagrid, Luna, Dobby, the Weasleys, Bellatrix, Sirius, Lupin, Mad-Eye Moody, Hedwig, Hamlet, Doctor Who. They're all so good! Dumbledore! Uh, so yeah, the characters are all so interesting and I love them all. Except for you, you little banshee! Oh my goodness! I hate you! I hate you so much, you whiny little brat! Oh yeah, go! Go, go then! Go cry to daddy, you little baby boy! Oh my gosh, I hate you! Ah! Umbridge, you suck too. And then you have all these really cool spells and stuff. It's just, oh, it's so cool. It's just, these movies want to make you become a wizard. In fact, you know what? I think I am. I'll be right back. Hold on. Water is give me us. All right, there you go. Let's just drink some water. Oh, that's not water. I don't know what that was. That's not water. Made it disappear, though. These movies showed me that we could actually get good things from Britain, which I didn't think was possible. I guess Sam Keeley just gave me a bad first impression. I'm triggered! They're so great. The world is so interesting. They look beautiful. The characters are so memorable. There's just, I, I honestly don't have that many negative things to say about any of these movies. 
So yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for watching me completely geek out over Harry Potter. I am Aiden and I like movies. See you guys later. Thanks, Aiden, for that magical movie review. And for a little throwback from last year, Aiden, where, where does, does the, the water, water go? go? <laughs> so I hear that JD and Ashley created another Draw My Life segment for Thanksgiving. That's right, so let's go check it out. Now that Halloween is over, let's talk about the most neglected holiday of the year, Thanksgiving. This is Draw My Life, Thanksgiving edition. In September 1620, a small ship called the Mayflower left Plymouth, England, carrying 102 passengers. The trip lasted 66 days and they arrived near the tip of Cape Cod, where the pilgrims began to establish a village at Plymouth. Only half of the Mayflower's original passengers and crew survived their first brutal winter and lived to see their first New England spring. They soon received a visit from Native Americans who taught the pilgrims how to cultivate corn, catch fish in the rivers, avoid poisonous plants, and extract sap from maple trees. In November 1621, the pilgrims were able to successfully harvest corn and in turn, Governor William Bradford organized a celebratory feast inviting a group of the colony's Native American allies. This feast is now remembered as the first Thanksgiving. Days of thanks on an annual or occasional basis became common practice in other New England settlements as well. During the American Revolution, the Continental Congress designated one or more days of Thanksgiving a year. In 1789, George Washington issued the first Thanksgiving proclamation by the national government of the United States of America. His successors, John Adams and James Madison, also designated Days of Thanks during their presidencies. In 1817, New York became the first of several states to officially adopt an annual Thanksgiving holiday. And in 1827, Sarah Josepha Hale, author of the nursery rhyme, Mary Had a Little Lamb, launched a 36-year campaign to establish Thanksgiving as a national holiday. Abraham Lincoln finally heeded her request in 1863. And that's how Thanksgiving became a holiday. Thanks, girls. I love it when they make those segments. Hey, Texas, you know what I love around this time of year? Heslin, you love so many things. Please tell us, what do you love now? I really like turkey, and apparently Nadia has created a 12 Days of Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving <laughs> segment for us. Well, let's go check it out. On the first day of Thanksgiving, my family gave to me one apple pie. <laughs> On the second day of Thanksgiving, my family gave to me two bowls of cranberries. On the third day of Christmas, my family gave to me three giant turkeys. On the fourth day of Thanksgiving, my family gave to me <laughs> four mashed potatoes. On the fifth day of Thanksgiving, my family gave to me five cowboy touchdowns. But um, bum. On the sixth day of Thanksgiving, my family gave to me six leaves of fallen. On the seventh day of Thanksgiving, my family gave to me <laughs> seven tiny pumpkins. On the eighth day of Thanksgiving, my family gave to me <laughs> eight gobblers gobbling. On the ninth day of Thanksgiving, my family gave to me nine days of break. On the 10th day of Thanksgiving, my family gave to me 10 crazy relatives. On the 11th day of Thanksgiving, my family gave to me 11 Black Friday deals. On the 12th day of Thanksgiving, my family gave to me 12 pounds of gain. 11 Black Friday deals. 10 crazy relatives. 9 days of break. 8 gobblers gobbling. 7 tiny pumpkins. 6 leaves of fallen. Five cowboy touchdowns. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Four mashed potatoes. Three giant turkeys. Two bowls of cranberries. One apple pie. A happy Thanksgiving. Well, thanks, Nadia, for that segment. So, um, you know how Kelly does those sports announcements? Yeah, like all the time. So I hear she made another one for us. So well, let's go check it out. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Kylie back with your weekly sports. 
Break's almost here, only four more periods to go. When break is over, we'll be heading into the winter season, which means girls and boys basketball, girls and boys soccer, ice hockey, and girls water polo will be starting up. Don't miss boys basketball playing away on Tuesday and girls water polo playing away on Thursday when we come back. Come show support to help the boys and girls start off their season strong. Have a great and safe break, Jay Sarah. Once again, I'm Kylie for Jay Sarah Sports. Back to Maddie in Texas in the studio. Hi, I'm very feisty. Oh, hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, period six made an interesting segment called Man on the Street. So let's go see what they're doing for this show. Please, let's go check it out. <laughs> I'm here with Riley. Um, what do you think about the minimum wage getting raised $66? I um, think it's interesting. What, what are your thoughts? Uh, I think it's a good thing because people need to make more money, I guess. What are your thoughts on the bistro shutting down in two weeks due to people stealing? They're shutting down? What? I did not know that. <laughs> what are your thoughts? I'm kind of bummed. I mean, the food's pretty good. What are your thoughts? Instead of eating turkey for Thanksgiving, you eat squirrel. Uh, I think that's pretty gross. Do you think you'll be doing it? No. Did you hear about the new rule, uh, J. Sarah ba banning hydro flasks because uh, they make too much noise? I have not, no. What are your thoughts? I mean, I think that people have the right to have a hydro flask because, you know, it keeps our water cold. I mean, they just got to stop making less noise, so. Thank you. What are your thoughts on J. Sarah adding a new sport, bobsledding? Um, I want to join. Do you, what are your thoughts? I think it's good. Well, I loved learning that interesting little fact before we went on to that segment from you. So, yeah. okay, well, thank you. That's all the time we have for today. I'm Feisty. And I'm Texas. And this has been the Lion Report. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving break, Lion Nation. Bye, everybody.